Hey guys, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. In today's episode, I am creating five different trash to treasure Christmas DIYs. Alrighty, so for this trash to treasure, my husband was lovely enough to cut out some snowmen out of plywood and we just have a bigger one oh, sorry a bigger one and a smaller one just two two level one and like a three ball one i will be painting these out one of them in this um heirloom white and rust-oleum spray paint so as you can see it's a little bit of a kind of like an antique white and then on one of them, I'll just do, I know it's like a rust paint, but I really like this one. So it's just a flat white, like really white paint. And that's what I'll be doing these guys. Cause one I want kind of to look antique and the other one like really crisp and white. And <clears throat> then I'll just be decorating them. Really easy trash to treasure DIYs. So the bigger snowman I actually did in the heirloom white and I'm just using some cardstock from the dollar store to cut out his hat. I kind of thought about what I could use and this is what I came up with. You could probably use construction paper too and or if you have some cardboard you could paint it black and use that if you really wanted to do, do true trash or treasure. And so I'll just cut out, freehand cut out a top hat, and then I freehand draw on the carrot nose and the eyes and the buttons. And then I'll be adding, from leftover ribbon, I'll be adding just a little scarf. Now I'm not worried about the eyes being like exactly the same size. Our eyes aren't always the same size. If you're making a snowman outside, whatever you're using for his eyes is not going to be the same size. So I like to have things look that way. I know for some people they really like it to be kind of perfect and if that's what you're going for maybe use a stencil or even if you can find some stickers that could be something that you do or if you're lucky enough to have a Cricut you could do Cricut. And I'm just using hot glue to glue everything. Once I drew everything on, I just distressed him a little bit more because I wanted him to be a little bit antique -y. And so I just used some black acrylic paint and just dry brushed, brushed it on the edges and just cause kind of all over the snowman. This is just an extra step that I added. You obviously make however you want him to be. I am going to apologize about my voice. I still have not gotten it back. I don't, I'm not sure. It's been like a month and I still can't seem to get it back. So I sound a little funny. But anyway, that's all there is to him. Let me know what you think. I think he's really cute and he'll make like a nice tray decor piece or a mantle decor, or whichever, or a nice little sign. If you want to hang him up, you just, you know, use some command strips. So the next guy I painted in the flat white, same thing, I used a top hat, I used the cardstock as a top hat, and then I had a different kind of ribbon that I used for his scarf, and then I added some arms, and these are just little sticks that I found in the garden, and little tiny sticks that I hot glued on for his arms. The other one did not have arms, and this guy I did not distress, and I did put their hats on kind of crooked, because I thought they would look cuter that way. And that's all there is to this guy too, so let me know what you think of him. So my mom had this salt shaker that she was throwing out. So I'm going to make a Christmas DIY out of it. So it's any old salt shaker. Like if you have some that have like, look at this, this is kind of gross. It's rusted over, it's gotten gross. She actually had two of them, salt and pepper shaker. But when I tried to remove, cause it had rusted so bad, when I tried to remove the 
lid, it actually um, broke the, the salt shaker. So for this guy, I'll be using that flat white spray paint. And then I'm going to use a red spray paint for the top because that'll kind of be like his hat. It is this colonial red spray paint. So after I spray painted him, I kind of did a lot of thinking as to how I'm going to actually go create a Santa. I did see a snowman salt shaker and those are a little bit easier to do. So I played around with maybe just adding the little lid of the salt shaker as his hat but not adding a head and I didn't like the way any of it looked so I wound up adding a styrofoam ball as his head and then some felt as his hat so you'll see that in the next clip. So what I actually did is I like I said I used the styrofoam ball I hot glued it to the top of the salt shaker and then I did the metal part on top of his head. And again, I, I contemplated leaving it, but I did want it to have kind of like a Santa hat. So I just added some embellishments. I gave him a beard and for the beard, I used some leftover fur, white fur that I had from last year. It's all from the Dollar Store. I think maybe Dollarama or Dollar Tree, I'm not sure. One of them I got last year. I sharpied his eyes on and then I sharpied just little rosy cheeks and a pink nose and then over the cheeks I just went over with white to kind of uh, dull down the pink so it wasn't so so pink and then I also added a mustache using that same fur and then again for the hat I used felt and for his arms I used felt. Okay, so what I did here was I added just a piece of felt that I cut into a triangle. I glued it to the base of this top here. And then I added some of the fur at the end. And then here I just used, this was a, a washcloth from the Dollar Tree. So I cut out just a strip of it and then I glued it onto the back here. And then here, I'm just going to do a makeshift wreath. And that's what he's going to be holding. Or maybe I'll do a present, actually. I have a present. There we go. I'll do a little present that I'm going to wrap up in some of this ribbon. See what I mean? Sometimes I think on the fly, and it'll look cute. So what I've done here is I've cut a strip like this, and I'm using the wire side. And then I wrapped it here and then I'm going to wrap it around this way too and then I'm going to hot glue it so that it looks like he's holding it. So there it is. So there it is. He's holding it. You can see I've hot glued it to his belly. And there he is. He's so cute. Let me know what you think of him. But again, a super easy DIY. Then this one, I will be making into a snowman as well. I love snowmen. And I'm going to be painting this out in a crisp white like this one. Now, you may have watched my ghost that I made for Halloween. This is kind of the same thing, except I'm using just a, a jar. You've probably seen me use these guys as well. This is from Peaches from Costco. And these jars are perfect. They don't like the... Everything comes off really, really nicely. They're like an awesome shape, and I love using them. And then I'm going to use an old, like you can see it's rusty, an old ring from a mason jar. You could use a mason jar if you don't have these. I just thought to make it a true trash to treasure. And because I have lots of these, we love eating canned peaches. And so for this, I'll be doing spray painting this black, and I'll show you the black paint in a minute. 
and because it doesn't quite like it doesn't fit in I'm going to hot glue it so just you know make some adjustments so I have I have very little of this paint left but if it's enough um, it's just a black spray paint it's just any old spray paint that you can have I just like it because it's, it's fast drying and it's for wood and metal and it's interior and exterior so if I decided to use something outside I could and same with this guy so if I wanted to put this out I could and that's it so even for this guy I just drew everything freehand using a sharpie a black and orange sharpie and then I'm adding a scarf to the bottom and then I I have some difficulties I have dirty fingers that have paint on them and I wound up getting black paint on on him so I won't have to fix it but I'll show you that in a minute so like a dummy I spray painted the wrong size of um, mason jar so you need the the ones with the smaller holes so or maybe this solar lamp isn't I have other solar lamps but I can't find them I don't know what I've done with them so I've just used an old one and they're the, the ones from the Dollar Tree, but I think these are very, very old ones. So the new ones, I believe, are bigger. And I packed away my Halloween stuff, and I don't know why I packed away the solar. I didn't think I did, but I can't find it. Anyway, so I'm going to put this in, and I'm going to make this hole a little bit bigger so I can squeeze this guy in and just hot glue everything to the base here. But I'll start. I don't want to paint anything more like to waste so and I'm I can't buy the solar lamps now so I'm going to improvise as you can improvise when you're making DIYs so just glue that in there oh no I got it on my fingers so I've cut the hole to fit the solar lamp and I'm just gonna uh, color it in black and because I'm always in a rush, I seem to never be able to be ahead of the game. I am using my hair dryer to just quickly dry the paint off so I can do another coat because I did have to do two coats because it's the it's from a ribbon roll. The little thing is from a ribbon roll and it's that glossy cardboard. So it makes it kind of slippery and a little bit harder to paint you have to do just two coats not harder just two coats so I did correct where I got my fingers uh, finger marks on the jar I wound up just spray painting that part and then <clears throat> then I'm going to go over with some deco art chalk paint in white and I just go over the whole jar including where I've sharpied his face and then I just use a baby wipe to wipe it off and then at the bottom of his hat, just to cover the ring parts, because, of course, the mason jar, it wasn't a mason jar, so it shows the ring parts, I'm going to put a little bow, again, with some leftover ribbon, just to give it a good, nice cover, and just to make the hat look fancier. Now, this solar light will glow, and it'll make your snowman glow, so if you wanted to have it in the dark, it's a great little piece to have unfortunately it is not dark so I wasn't able to show you but I can link the Halloween decor video so you can kind of see what it looks like when it's glowing in the dark and because this was an old solar light it was just in a box so it did not have enough time to charge so I am like I said not able to show you what it looks like in the dark so here he is, all finished. I hope you like him. I think he turned out pretty cute. And again, a great tray decor or mantle decor or anything, really. He's just cute. Let me know what you think. Okay, so for this one, it's kind of like a trash to treasure. The only reason why I would say kind of is because um, 
when you like if you have an old calendar that you're not going to use so some of you might have the 2021 calendars well the year is coming to an end don't throw it out because you have all these beautiful pictures that you can use little ones or big ones so i'm going to use actually the december so right here i'm going to use this picture and i love keeping these so i keep all sorts of calendars for the pictures <clears throat> and I'm going to make it into a sign great way to reuse stuff and also like if you have wrapping paper you could do that with wrapping paper Christmas cards you can make a collage or you could just make mini pictures so many options so what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to use the cardboard that it comes with to keep it straight and this picture and I'm going to make a nice winter picture now I will also use tumble blocks. You don't have to because if you have if you have enough paint stir sticks, you could totally make a frame out of those. I just don't. So I'm using the blocks and but you could like you can see you can kind of go like that. Um, I'm going to use tumble blocks just as a frame. You don't even have to do that if you don't want to. Or if you have little bits and pieces of wood, kind of that you've cut up from other projects, you could make a nice border around. Super easy. Or <clears throat> even if you have, you know, old wood rulers that are being chucked or whatever, and you wanted to use them, have a purpose for them, you could use those as well. Many options. I just... I've run out of all of my trash, so I'm using my tumble blocks to do this. And I will stain the tumble blocks so that they're a nicer, darker color. So I'm using the cardboard that came with the calendar, and I'm going to glue on the piece on there. I'm using Pop Mod Podge. You can use a glue stick. It might even work better with a glue stick. I just found that my glue stick dried out. And then I'm gluing it on, and then I'm going to use the tumble blocks and I'm going to use six for each side so 24 tumble blocks less one or two just because you have to make some cuts and if you make some mistakes but aim for 24 and if you use less great and I'm going to paint the tumble blocks in a black acrylic paint and then I will hot glue everything as my frame and that's all there is to this DIY super super easy So again, when you get to the end, you're going to have little bits that you have to cut. I'm using my mini miter saw that I have. You could use anything that you prefer using. This is kind of why I got it for these tumble block projects. It's quite hard to cut without, um, like, when just because there's such little cuts. But maybe you have something, some tools that you can use. I just found that this is the best one to use. So I just kind of put a pencil mark where I wanted it to be cut and then again hot glued everything now I didn't glue anything at the back to help for it to hang you could glue some jute rope to the back to have it hang but I think I'm gonna have it like on my mantle so I just leave it the way it is and then I just use a little bit of black acrylic paint just to kind of distress around the frame and that's all there is to it let me know what you think of this one i'm really excited about this one because it was so easy to make so here are all the diys again they were free for me to make because i had everything on hand 
and a lot of trash to treasure stuff so and because they're so flexible you can really use anything you have on hand even if it's jute rope for his scarf instead of a colorful scarf that will make it more rustic really it's whatever you have on hand if you wanted something quick to do that was inexpensive and or free for you to make even the plywood snowmans you could cut out of cardboard if you really wanted to so let me know what you think i'm going to try and have a, an extra video for you well not an extra a video for you at some point next week instead of the weekend because it is thanksgiving weekend so i don't want to post anything over the weekend but we'll see that's the plan my plans have been kind of squashed lately because i keep on either injuring myself or getting sick so anyway thank you so much have a great day stay safe and make sure you are subscribed and you have that notification bell so you can see when i post my new video if it's not sooner it will be next sunday but i'm hoping that it'll be sooner maybe wednesday thank you have a great day and stay safe